everybody just wanted to share with you a before because I, I started working on some stockings and I'm already done with two and I realized you know what let me kind of show you what they look like first so before I even go on um, I've been looking everywhere for stockings for Christmas for my husband me and my cat Haley and I you know first of all they're expensive secondly where I put them they can't be too big because they're gonna be um, I have like a kitchen bar sort of it's kind of a tall bar but you know it's gonna it goes down I don't even know how to explain it but when I put it up I'll show it to you so some of the stockings that I've been finding are really long you know gorgeous and everything but expensive even though like I know Hobby Lobby has them 50% off I just couldn't find ones that I really like and I wanted them to look like a set so I was with my husband at Walmart the other day and I actually saw some really cute ones for only like seven dollars and change in the end he told me why don't you just get cheap ones and do something with them since you're so crafty <laughs> I'm like yeah I am okay yeah I know I can do my own I was just hoping just to find them and have them done you know I have a long list of things that I want to do but this is actually super easy um so at Walmart and I know Dollar Tree has some but they're really cheesy looking and I'm, you really got to do a lot to make them look nice these are actually not too bad and the top white part is kind of fluffy um, you do have to kind of look for some that are not too wrinkled up but and they're not too too long I didn't want mine too long so I bought three of these at Walmart and they were only a dollar ninety eight and then I also found because I wanted to personalize them um, monograms in the same section that these are at so here is one of them I already used um, the L for my name R for Robert my husband and then this is for Haley as you can see they put them on a stocking and they're only 98 cents perfect and I don't know that'd be a great gift idea too so I might buy a couple more just to make gifts I don't know you know it all depends because I have a long list of things to do um the only problem with this one it's got two holes I've been covering the one hole with you know these things here that I have found at the Dollar Tree so I'm also using this I'm using felt I did a Santa's belt it's not glitter it's just the glitter fell on there and I made an apron for mine out of trims so you'll see that in a minute but, and I'm just using hot glue to stick it all together. So I wanted you to see the before. And I'm going to finish this one for Haley. Which I have an idea what to do. It took me a while to figure out what to do for her. But um, it's not going to look like a cat stocking. It's just going to look like a cute stocking for a little girl. Because I have a girl cat. Anyway. Oh, and I did find at Walmart. The cutest little outfit. And it actually fits her. It's actually for small dogs. But it actually fits her. Um, it's just a matter of getting her to sit still so I could take a picture But this is my idea right here for the stocking something like this So let's see what I could do. All right. I'll be back Okay, everybody here they are a Family stocking. I know it's a little Hard to see all of them, but I will take a picture um, You probably already seen the pictures anyway, so I started off with the most easiest one that I did was this is for my husband Robert. Let's see if I could like maybe right there. And we just did him as a you know a Santa. Again, I just used some black felt that I had in my stash. It's full of stuff right now, but I had some leftover scraps of gold metallic paper or cardstock. And I just drew out the buckle. I did use my ruler so it'd be as perfect as possible cut it out with my little trimmer and then with the blade I did the inside then um, I did the little piece here that a buckle would normally have so I thought that was so cute and then the initial for Robert and then one of the Dollar Tree bows to cover that hole and just to give it a little extra something so that one is super easy super simple it just wraps around a little bit this is the back so it doesn't matter if it's completely you know all the way over I left the stuff that's in here just to keep that shape okay so that was the first one and then I did mine and I looked up Mrs. Santa outfits just to see just 
to get some ideas. And some of them had some aprons. And I, I like the idea of the apron. Mostly because I wear an apron at work every day. Um, I'm a cake decorator. So I thought, oh, it'd be cute just to put a little apron. And I just used some of my trims that I had in my stash. This is a, a wide eyelet trim. And as I was gluing it, I kind of ruffled it a little bit. And then here, this trim here, somebody gave this to me a few years back. I don't remember who it was, but that's the way it comes with the lace. But then I added more lace to it. Some ruffled lace that I pick up whenever I go to AC more. I usually pick up some of those dollar spools. So what I did was I glued to the back of this one piece of lace on the bottom all the way and then another one on the top just to make it nice and frilly. And then as a little tie, you know, you would tie your apron around. So I just made a bow and kind of simulate that. So really cute apron. And then my initial. And then this is the other, um, these are called poinsettia bows from the Dollar Tree. Thought I would do a little different one there. And then my favorite one is the one that I did for Haley, and I actually got the idea, like I showed you, from her little outfit I bought, which is actually a dog's outfit for a small dog. So I got, I like the idea of this, this, a bow, and the buttons, although I only did the, I didn't do the black bow, I did a white bow that I had in my stash. It's actually a hair band for a baby, you just cut off the band. Um, from the dollar store so it comes with this I probably should keep this why did I throw it out I don't know I'm keeping it so this is um, attached to the back I just cut it off it's like a little headband and it is from the Dollar Tree there was a bling center I took that off and put a button I'm glad I kept a few buttons in my stash I don't keep too much because I don't use them but once in a while you never know so I just keep this little bit of buttons so I did a strip of the felt. Actually, I started with these strips, which is actually fabric I had in my stash. I couldn't find anything to, you know, give that fluffy look here. I almost used this stuff, but it was too thin. You can kind of see how thin that is. So I went with the fabric, cut a long strip, cut the strip in two, and then put them back. And it doesn't go all the way in there. Put those down first and it does leave a lot of stuff so you know i just gotta brush it off then i put this over it you can see it's on top of that put my big bow a button and then i had three of these matching buttons because that little outfit has some it had like felt buttons so that's like a little um what's that called it reminds me of the I think suspenders <laughs> and then her initial Haley and what I did was I put the bow so it would cover both holes on the top there isn't that cute oh my god okay so this is definitely better than the store-bought ones because they're personalized no one's gonna have the same exact one unless you guys decide to copy which I don't mind absolutely can copy my ideas and if you do share you know just give a shout out so there it is so thank you all for watching i'll see you guys next time bye now